Imagine a home where the laughter of children never resonates, where playtime is a distant dream, and where the shackles of torture replace the bonds of love. Welcome to the Turpin House of Horrors. In the quiet neighborhood of Paris, California, lived a family that seemed ordinary, at least from the outside. David and Louise Turpin, a couple who had eloped in their youth, had a large family of 13 children. David, a retired computer engineer, and Louise, a stay-at-home mother, were the epitome of normalcy, or so it seemed. But as we delve deeper, the facade of normality crumbles, revealing a chilling reality. Inside the Turpin house, the laughter of children was replaced by the deafening silence of fear. The children, isolated from the outside world, rarely saw the light of day. They were underfed, malnourished, and often shackled to their beds. Playtime was a luxury they couldn't afford, survival was the only game they knew. Despite the horror inside, the Turpin parents maintained a facade of normalcy. Louise's sisters recount her involvement in witchcraft, gambling and alcoholism, however, to the outside world, she was just another suburban mother. David, on the other hand, had a successful career in computer engineering before retiring, adding another layer to their deceptive veneer of normality. The Turpin siblings, while physically present in the world, were mentally and emotionally trapped in a house that was anything but a home. Their parents, who should have been their protectors, were their tormentors. The Turpin House of Horrors, a term coined by the media, was a living nightmare for these innocent souls. Behind the closed doors of this seemingly ordinary house, a chilling narrative of abuse and neglect was being written, unbeknownst to the world. As we peel back the layers of this disturbing story, we expose a reality that's difficult to comprehend, a reality that will leave you questioning the very essence of humanity. The Turpin children lived in a world where horror was the norm. In their home in Paris, California, the 13 siblings were subjected to unimaginable physical and emotional torment at the hands of their parents, David and Louise Turpin. The children's existence was a stark contrast to the typical childhood experience. Their daily life was a prison of confinement, abuse and neglect. They were isolated from the outside world, their lives confined within the four walls of their home. Their parents dictated every aspect of their existence. The children were chained or tied to their beds, a cruel punishment for perceived transgressions. They were allowed only the bare minimum for survival, permitted to eat just once a day and shower once a year. The parents' control extended even to their diet, with the children malnourished and underfed. The emotional torture was as brutal as the physical. The siblings were stripped of their innocence, exposed to a harsh reality that no child should ever have to face. They were deprived of basic social interactions, a deprivation that would later pose significant challenges as they attempted to integrate into society. But the abuse didn't stop there, even their hygiene was strictly controlled by their parents, with bathing allowed only once a year. Imagine the humiliation, the degradation, the sheer inhumanity of it all. The Turpin children were victims of a life of unending torture, a life that should have been filled with joy, learning and growth. Instead, their formative years were spent in a reign of fear, suffering and deprivation, orchestrated by the very people who should have been their protectors. In this house, childhood innocence was stolen, replaced with fear and suffering. Despite the severity of their ordeal, the Turpin children's story is not just one of victimhood, but also of resilience and survival. Their journey is a stark reminder of the human capacity to endure and overcome even the most horrific circumstances. In 2018 a beacon of hope pierced the darkness. A daring escape by one of the children exposed the gruesome reality of the Turpin household. Imagine a world where every day is a nightmare, where hunger gnaws at your belly, and cruel chains bind you. Then one day you summon every ounce of courage to break free. This was the reality for one of the Turpin children who, in the early days of 2018, managed to escape the house of horrors. This brave soul, a teenager, had been planning her escape for over two years. The determination was fueled by dreams of freedom and a life unshackled. In the early hours of one fateful morning she made her move. She slipped out of her chains, crept past her sleeping parents, and with a stolen cell phone in her hands, she fled into the unknown. But her ordeal wasn't over. She dialed the three numbers that spelled, Hope, 911. Her voice trembled as she narrated her story to the operator. The details were horrifying years of confinement, abuse, and neglect. She spoke of siblings chained to their beds, of meals that came once a day, and showers that were a once-a-year luxury. 
The police, alerted by her desperate call, descended upon the Turpin residence. What they discovered was beyond their wildest nightmares. Thirteen malnourished children and adults, some shackled to their beds, living in squalid conditions. The house was a scene straight out of a horror movie, an eerie silence punctuated by the soft sobs of the imprisoned. The officers were taken aback by the shocking state of the children. They were incredibly thin, their bodies stunted by malnutrition. Their pale faces bore the marks of years of neglect, and their eyes, oh, their eyes held stories of untold suffering. The sight of these innocent victims of such heinous acts of cruelty was enough to make even the most hardened officer's blood run cold. The chilling discovery sent shockwaves across the nation, pulling back the curtain on a real-life house of horrors. Justice may have been served for the Turpin children, but the physical and emotional scars of their past continue to haunt them. After the shocking revelations of the Turpin case, the world watched as justice was pursued. David and Louise Turpin, the parents and tormentors of their 13 children, faced a slew of charges. These included multiple counts of torture, false imprisonment, child abuse, and cruelty to a dependent adult. After pleading guilty, they received a sentence that matched their heinous crimes. Life imprisonment with the possibility of parole after 25 years. While the legal system dealt with the perpetrators, the victims faced a different kind of trial. The Turpin children now free from their shackles, found themselves in an unfamiliar world. Imagine a life where basic social interactions are a mystery, where managing your own finances seems as daunting as climbing Everest. This was the reality for the Turpin siblings, thrust into a world they were never prepared for. And the struggle did not end there. Some of the younger siblings placed into foster care found themselves subjected to further abuse. Lawsuits have been filed against the Foster family alleging severe physical, sexual, and emotional abuse. It seems the shadow of their past followed them, a cruel reminder of the years they spent in the House of Horrors. Yet, amid the struggle and pain, there are glimmers of hope. Some of the Turpin children, like Jordan Turpin, have found a measure of success, becoming social media influencers and models. They're learning to navigate life, one step at a time with the help of their attorney and mentor, Elon Zexer. Despite the difficulties, Zexer believes in their potential to lead fulfilling lives and contribute to their communities. The Turpin children's journey from their harrowing past is a testament to their resilience, a painful reminder of the horrors they endured. The Turpin case, a dark chapter in human history, serves as a stark reminder of the hidden horrors that can lurk beneath the surface of ordinary life. We have journeyed together through the bleak narrative of the Turpin siblings, a story that unfolded in a seemingly ordinary home in Paris, California. Yet within those walls, an unthinkable ordeal was being lived out by 13 innocent souls, a reality that defied every notion of what a home and family should represent. This story is extraordinary not just for the sheer number of victims, but for the calculated and prolonged nature of the abuse. David and Louise Turpin, the parents and perpetrators, subjected their own children to years of confinement and neglect. The children were isolated, malnourished and chained to their beds, their lives reduced to mere existence in a world devoid of love, kindness, or simple human decency. But the Turpin case is more than just a narrative of horror. It's also a story of survival, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Despite the dark shadows of their past, the Turpin siblings continue to grapple with life, learning to navigate the world that was kept hidden from them for so long. Their journey is filled with challenges and setbacks yet they persist, driven by a resilience that is nothing short of inspiring. The story of the Turpin siblings also serves as a wake-up call, a reminder that we must remain vigilant, that we must question the unexplained, and seek the truth behind closed doors. It is a call to action for communities, for societies, for each one of us to ensure the safety and well-being of every child. As we bid goodbye, remember the Turpin sibling story, a grim testament to human cruelty but also to survival and the indomitable spirit of resilience. The shadows of the past may linger, but hope lights the path ahead.